Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on fall damage uh, for our third person shooter. So here you can see my current health in the bottom right corner. If I jump from this platform, you see health is reduced a substantial amount and it, of course it does regenerate but it does reduce. So if I fall from a very high location the character will instantly die, instantly die. So let's try something like this. See, now the character is dead. So, but then again, if I fall from a position like this, I wouldn't get any damage at all. So I will. Uh, I will create variables to control how high the character can jump off without taking any damage and also what's the ratio between falling speed uh, when the ground when the character hits the ground and the damage amount so yeah I will explain all those things in this episode so you can customize based on your needs and your designs of the game and before we get started uh, let me remind you that you can watch all the episodes of this series that I have covered from the beginning. Uh, you, everything you see here, so you see in this project is implemented through this tutorial series. So you can watch all those episodes and understand and build everything by yourself. And also, if you like, you can just download the complete project from my Patreon page as well when you become a member not just this project you can download all thousands of things i have done in my channel from my patreon page so feel free to check it out i'll leave the links to everything in description below all right so now uh, right now even if i start my character from up above here you see no damage whatsoever happens to the character here health is full so in order to implement damage let me first go to the character so this ALS player is a child class of ALS animal which is a child class of ALS base character now if I go to the base character and event draft here we have this event on landed so let me get some space here so this event will be called whenever the character lands on whenever the character lands so to see that let's get velocity I'll print so that you can see the velocity will be printed every time the character lands so if I now play you see here you can see zero zero something printed let me make it appear for a bit longer time like 10 seconds in red so you have time to read see now it's minus 1062 that's the vertical speed at the time the character lands if i do a jump it's minus 400 something yeah. so if i do a fast run and a jump it's still around that but if i let me go to a bit steeper ground that we have here now it's minus 500. Oh, that is no ground here. So yeah, as you see, uh, you get the idea. Here, let me put the character somewhere like this at simulate. It's minus 800. So, but I think if the character jumps from a height like this, maybe from a ledge we should not really have any damage it's it would be okay 
to have no damage but if the vertical speed is larger than 1000 i think it's reasonable to have some damage okay now to implement this now that we know this event is called every time the character lands so let me remove that from here and then so we have implemented all our damage in this ppi damageable interface here you see on bullet hit on fire hit on explosion hit on flash bang hit everything oh what did i implemented total in location here okay anyway that's not textually that, that doesn't matter for this uh right anyway here i'll add another function and i'll rename it on ball okay now uh, let's go here i'll simply call uh, on ball in the damageable interface so i'm not going to implement this in the base character because i think i implemented all the health and everything in anime so therefore i'll go to anime and uh, it's damageable here no in the interfaces damageable on fall now here we will implement damage so this this i remove this from here to the location where i have all the damage events that means here These are just two. Just that everything related to damage is here. Okay, now let's go in here. I'll get velocity and split this. Oh, sorry. Split this. Get the set value if this is less than minus thousand uh maybe i'll promote this to a variable for damage threshold by default it's minus thousand if this is larger than this value then i'm gonna call i have already implemented this damage macro i'll show you it so basically what it does is i can give the damage amount which is a positive value and i call this update health function with a negative multiplier so this will update my health value and also it will update the health bar in the ui as well so it just do that let me just show you how here it's just doing update in the health value but i have overridden this function in the uh in the player character here which do all the ui update parts but that's not required for this oh where is my damage here so I'll again get this Z value and maybe divide this by some value. So I want if the height that I fall higher, I need to have more damage. So to get that effect, I'll divide this by 20 
but this is going to be a negative value so i divide it by minus 20 so total will become a positive value the output then i'll put that into the damage so by doing this using minus 20 if this is 1000 minus 1000 the damage amount will become 50 if it is more than that then of course it will increase and here we have this explosion source which is not really required for this i have added this to use with the explosion heads like bombs so i'm not worried i don't want to add this part given input to that right now what i kind of not need having this here but this should work okay now let's see Mine is still simulating, yeah. No health is reduced because it's not, it doesn't have a higher velocity than 1000 when I fall. But here, see, now you can see my health reduced. But for jumping, it's not reducing. But if maybe if i fall from a height like this i should actually die so anyway to test let me put in a higher position still no you see if i put minus 10 at 1000 we will die because 100 is the max health yeah 100 is the max health now I didn't die oh i used not if i use this 10 i will die yeah which is not good uh well at this side it does make sense but let me try something like minus 50. okay that's fine but do it like this okay i still get some damage which is good so this might be a good place to test. See, I reduced a substantial amount, but I didn't die. So yeah, I think that should be enough. So you can fine tune these values and maybe I should name to this i'll get the absolute value and instead of minus one now i can use the plus one plus value let's promote this to a variable i'll call it for damage fresh no it's the damage ratio okay I'll leave it at 50 and yeah that's all I want to do in this episode so thanks for watching as always, updated project files will be available here for download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, consider getting the Patreon page subscription. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. See you in another tutorial. Goodbye.